Hi folks, my name is Jerry and I am the Chainmail Guy. And today we are going to answer the question just how much pressure can you build in a pressure cooker? I'm building a steam engine. I want to run my steam engine off of actual steam, but in order to do so, I need a frame of reference. I need to know how much pressure my steam vessel can generate. And for testing purposes, I need to know what pressure to, to set the regulator at on my air compressor. So, what I've done is I have purchased a pressure cooker at my local hardware store. This happened to be in the bargain bin for 10 bucks. I then went to my local uh, supplier and got a pigtail and a steam pressure gauge. I went for the 100 psi gauge because I had no idea what sort of pressures we'd be dealing with today. What I did was I took one of the uh, safety relief valves out and replaced it with my pressure gauge. This is the regulator. This is the safety relief valve. This here is the lid lock, and you can kind of see there's a little steam coming out of the lid lock. As long as there is steam coming out of the lid lock, this vessel is not generating steam. And you can hear it. It's uh, starting to generate more steam. When it generates a couple of pounds of steam, then that lid lock will pop up, and we will start generating pressure in the vessel. built a <clears throat> nice fire in my rocket stove, my potbelly rocket stove. We've just got a little bit of smoke coming out of the front. We can close the door a little more. Get it in a rocket mode. And you can now see that the lid lock is locked. And the pressure gauge should start going up real soon. Okay, the lid lock is in place, it's locked, and you can see the pressure is starting to build. I currently have about six pounds. And also in the background we have my carbon monoxide detector. My carbon monoxide detector happens to have a digital readout on it so that I can tell when I'm actually going to poison myself. <coughs> uh, at 100 parts per million, uh, we are in jeopardy of health problems. At 400 parts per million, we are advised to leave the area and call for assistance. And you can hear the, the regulator starting to starting to get ready to pop. We're at 10 pounds. Eleven. Twelve. And that's taken us about Six minutes from the time the lid lock kicked on. Thirteen pounds and the regulator, you can hear it, you can see it. It's about to let go. And there it goes. For fun. I'm going to see if we can't get a slightly higher temperature on this. And I'll do that by throwing some cardboard into the firebox. Again, cardboard does an excellent job of generating a tremendous amount of heat. Problem is, the C 
CO levels do tend to go up fairly quickly. Right now my CO detector is showing 43 parts per million. smoke because the cardboard does generate a lot of smoke until the temperature comes up. So we're we'll moving into lock and load. You can see the Flames are shooting right up out of the top, so we will now hold down the pressure regulator. Number 12. See how high up we can go. CO detector is currently at 39 parts per million. Pressure is about 16 psi. Eighteen. Nineteen. for about 13 minutes. CO levels are currently at 47 parts per million and we are just touching 20 psi.